1 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16, it says, And without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. God was manifest in the flesh, justified in the spirit, seen the angels, preached to the Gentiles, believed on in the world, received up into the glory. What's it saying here? Great is the mystery of godliness. You know, the mystery of godliness is very great. And when it comes to the Trinity versus Godhead issue, Trinitarians will accuse people like me who believe in the Godhead of trying to explain God, and really, they're the ones that are trying to explain God. What do I mean by that? Well, first of all, um, what what the Godhead is, obviously God is only one being. Okay, God's not three persons or divine essence or all this other stuff. And I get to that later, by the way. But God is one being, composed of body, soul, and spirit. Jesus Christ is the Son of God, and he is the same being as God the Father. Basically, he's the Son and the Father. They're the same being. And you say, well, how do you, how do you explain that? I don't I can't. Mystery of godliness. You know, how can Jesus be the Son of God and be the Most High God, God the Father. I don't know. That's the mystery of godliness. I can't explain God. But with Trinitarians, they can. They think they can explain God. So ironically, what they accuse us of, people who believe in the biblical Godhead, are actually what they're guilty of. Let me read you from the Catholic Catechism. Uh, is this Catechism? Catholic Catechism? Is it the uh, Catholic Catechism? Number 251. This is the Catholic Church saying that they had to actually make up terms to explain the Trinity. So who's the really ones that are trying to explain God? Let me read this to you. Uh, this is from the Catholic Church Catechism, number 251. In order to art articulate the dogma of the Trinity, the Church had to develop her own terminology with the help of certain notions of philosophical origin, substance, person, hy hypostasis, relation, and so on. So they're openly admitting they had to make up their own term to explain the Trinity, to explain the Godhead. And you know what's kind of funny? A lot of these same terms are actually used by the Trinitarians. Substance, person... You know, um, you, hear, you see these, you know, people like Ed Fenninger or Stephen Anderson, God is three persons. Where is that in the Bible? Where does it say God is three persons? They get it from the Catholic Catechism, you know? And what's the church, Catholic Church Catechism saying? In order to articulate the dogma, the church had to develop her own terminology. Who's really trying to explain God? You know, I can't, I don't understand how God can be, how Jesus can be the Son of God and be the same being as God the Father. But it's taught in Scripture, and that's the mystery of godliness. I can't explain it, but it's taught in Scripture, so I believe it. You know, ask a Trinitarian, you know, how, explain the Trinity. Well, God is three persons, and there's, there's divine essence, they're one in unity, they're one in essence. Where is that in the Bible? Well, it's not in the Bible, but we're just going to use it to explain God. You know, who's really trying to explain God? The Trinitarians. So, ironically, what they're accusing us of, of trying to explain God, they're guilty of themselves. Because they're having to add terms to Scripture to explain their Trinity. Because where in the Bible do you find God in three persons, blessed Trinity? In fact, where do you even find the word Trinity in the Bible? You don't. The proper term is Godhead, not Trinity. So the bottom line is, is that people who believe in the Godhead, we're not trying to explain God, okay? I, I don't understand the mystery of godliness. Trinitarians think they do. That's why they have to add these philosophical terms that are straight out of the Catechism to explain their Trinity. So who's really trying to explain God, us or them? So I'm not trying to be prideful of that, it's just true. They're the ones that are trying to explain God. So don't be deceived by those pagan Trinitarian nonsense and just, just explain the Godhead, here's how it works. Uh, Genesis chapter 1 verse 26-27 says that man is made in the image and likeness of God. Okay, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 23 says that man has a body, soul, and spirit. Same with God, God has a body, God has a soul, God has a spirit. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, is the body. Father is in him as the soul. You, know, you see verses where it talks about how the Father is in Jesus Christ, God is in Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit is within him as the Spirit. Three in one. You see 1 John 5, 7 on that. Not the pagan trinity, that God's three persons, but they're one in essence, they're one in unity, and you know, all this nutty nonsense. So, the Trinitarians, they're the other ones that are trying to explain God. They think they can explain God. They think they can understand the mystery of godliness, so they have to add extra biblical terms like person, substance, and all this other stuff to explain their false god. The Trinity is a pagan idol, so don't be deceived by all this, this uh, Trinitarian paganism. It is not the biblical god of the Bible. It is not the biblical godhead. I mean, obviously, again, the word Trinity is not even found in the Bible. So how do you, how, well, I believe in the biblical Trinity. Where's the word Trinity in the Bible? It's just funny. I'm going to go off a little rant about this. I don't want to go too long on this, but it's just funny how Trinitarians, they just refuse to say the word Godhead. You show them, where's the word Trinity at in the Bible? They say, I'm Bible-believing in all matters of faith and practice. Okay, find me the word Trinity in the Bible. Well, it's not there, but I'm going to keep using it. You know, you show them the biblical term is Godhead. They just refuse to use the term Godhead for some reason. Weird. Totally weird. I mean, claiming to be Bible-believing, but then just refusing to use the biblical terminology. 
You know, I mean, if you're going to keep believing in the pagan trinity, at least use the proper term, Godhead. Don't keep using this, this Catholic term of trinity. But they just, just have to use the trinity term. We just have, we cannot use the Godhead term, you know, because they're idolaters. They, they worship this, this false idol of the trinity. So, don't be deceived. God bless you. I'm going to be coming up with more stuff exposing this, this satanic trinity because what it comes down to is that in the future, there's going to be a actual trinity. You have the Antichrist, the, fal the false prophet, and Satan. The, that's the satanic trinity that's coming. Brian did a good study on that. So don't be deceived by this, this pagan trinitarianism. It, it is, it's straight out of paganism. I showed that in that other video. It's straight out of, of European, Egyptian, Babylonian paganism. So don't be deceived. God bless you. Goodbye. Thank you.